Welcome to this tutorial. I'll be showing you how to attach very large files to your SMF forum. First, let's just make our topic to attach our file to. So let's just make a topic here. Copy some dummy text we have here. Lorem, which is that's the title. And let's just try to attach this large file in here. As you can see, it's 183 megabytes. And then let's just find that on our desktop here. Open and then post. As you can see, it's uploading right there, right below my cursor. 74%, and there it goes. But as you can see, it brought us right back to the post form. If you go to the general discussion where I'm trying to post it, it didn't actually do anything. So that means that file wasn't uploaded and didn't return an error, but it just didn't go post it to our board. So what I do is just make our form our topic like normal. Like how we're going to do before, but don't actually attach your thing. Just post your topic, and as you can see, it actually went this time. So now that you have that, we have to go to our file, and we have to rename it. We have to make a hash of a 40-digit combo of anything. So I have a website um, right here, which is do random numbers and letters. And we can probably find a generator right here. So length of sequence 40. And yeah, we can add some 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. And number of random letter sequences 1. So click to generate. So now we have our hash. And hash is a, to identify what file we're talking about because SMF um, encodes our files so you can actually access them or download them without being having the proper permissions to access them. So now that we have our hash, let's go back to our file on our desktop and rename it. And we have to get rid of the um, extension as well. So make sure you select the whole name, put our hash in there, and get rid of that space. And yeah, you sure you want to change it? So you'd say yes. And we also need to put the ID attached to it. So let's bring up your PHP my admin. As you can see, I have it up there. Go to your SMF database, and let's go to the attachments table. And as you can see, you have ID attaches for each um, attachment you have on your database. This is actually auto incremented by by itself. So first, we have to create our table row to name our file completely. Right now, it just has the hash on it, but we also need to add the ID attached that is associated with your row. So first, you just want to insert a row. ID attached that'll auto increment by itself. For the ID message, I have to bring up my SMF form again, so let me quickly do that. Localhost SMF. Okay, so now we have that back up. We can go to our topic. And our topic is four. You can also see it by just editing your um, main message. So it's message four, topic four. So it's message four. And your message is not your topic because you can have multiple messages per topic and stuff like that. So your numbers aren't going to be the same as mine are. So we we'll just put four into there. ID member, you don't need to fill that out. ID folder. If you're using multiple attachment folders, you need to change that to the specific one you're using. So if you're using like two and you want to put in the other folder, you press two. But just leave it one if you haven't changed any of those settings at all. Attachment type. You don't put anything there. File name. This is like the original file name, so we can just name it what we want it. April PST back that RAR was the RAR before. And file hash. So we can go back and just copy that. I guess I don't have that on here, so we just rename that right here. Copy that. And paste that in. And if you need some help, just go, going back to your browse thing and see what you need to fill out exactly you can just look at the other rows so our file extension was a RAR our size you can just right click that and go to properties and that will be this number here without any of the commas so just copy that number go back to your size enter that in and just delete the commas download you can change the number if you wanna say you people have downloaded a bunch and that is about it that's all you need to add so you just press go right there and it says it inserted it successfully so I go back to browse and it says its ID attaches 11 so now we go back to our file go right to the front of it 
paste our ID attach, put a underscore on that, and now we have our file. Now we just have to upload that to our server. And so the file limit on these examples, it can be as much as you want, but you have to be able, be able to FTP it to your server. So since I'm on localhost, it doesn't matter the size. And I'm just going to go to my WAMP server right here, www.smf. It's going to be in your attachments folder in your, in your root of your SMF. As you can see, there's other files there. And all you do is drag and drop it into there. And if you have your um, DB row in there already, you can just refresh your topic. You should have your file already in there and it should be all good and you can download it all like normal so I can just save it to my desktop and open it up like normal that concludes this tutorial on how to attach large files I hope you enjoyed it go sign up on visualpulse.net and that's it see ya